scorching, with July alone setting the record as the hottest month in Texas history. Temperatures routinely soared well above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, evaporating any residual moisture from the soil and leaving vegetation brittle and primed to burn. The heat acted like a kiln, curing the grasslands and forests into kindling that could carry flames across miles and minutes. But the drought and heat alone were not enough to produce fires of the scale that would devastate Texas. A third less visible factor played a decisive role, a powerful La Nina weather pattern in the Pacific Ocean. La Nina events occur when sea surface temperatures in the Eastern Pacific drop below average, altering global weather systems. For Texas, this meant the jet stream was pushed northward, diverting rain-producing storms away from the state and ensuring the dry, hot conditions persisted. The La Nina that began in 2010 was particularly strong and unrelenting, effectively shutting off rainfall for much of the